with uh, the former Minister of Information, Honorable Brown, concerning what happened last night. I think it's something that we should all condemn and as the police investigate to see the outcome of that incident. I also spoke. Could you Minister tell us exactly what actually happened from those you came over to investigate preliminarily from your uh, side as a security sector person? Well, uh, currently the police is investigating. Uh, we allow the police to conduct the investigation and be able to come up with the findings. Uh, we all saw it on open source, like the internet, what was happening last night. And I think we all should condemn it. Uh, I think people are entitled to the, the freedom of speech, uh, but they should be um, accountable for the actions and stuff. So I think let's all condemn the incident last night that happened to Honorable Brown. I also spoke to Honorable Brown, talked to him and asked him how his condition and actually doing it. Uh, he told me he's doing well. And uh, as the police investigate, we wait for the outcome of the investigation to see what will happen. But uh, man, the caveat is just simple. Look, the Constitution of like USA is Article 85 gave rise for the military. If you go to the National Defense Act of 2008, the ones that repealed the 1959 Act of the military, uh, Chapter 2, Section 2.3e, there it states that the duties of the armed forces of Liberia to support national security, to include the Liberian National Police, we will not preempt by going ahead of the police. It is the police responsibility. But when the police cannot handle a situation and it acts, I'll give you an example. To do to some of those who are talking, I'm sure you remember the incident in Israel with Honorable Alexander Cumming. He was held hostage. The police is where you could not handle the situation. They informed the IG, the IG informed the Minister of Defense and the Commander in Chief. It was based on the armed forces of Liberia we were able to rescue our opposition leader, Alexander Cummings, found the riot in Zwerju and escorted him out of Grand Gide. You also can remember the incident in Maryland. When the women started, started rioting, the protests that led to a member of government, the speaker, where the horse got burned. It was the military that called again for Grand Gide to intervene in that situation, managed to put the situation on the country. I'll give you another instance where soldiers indeed were passing at, in Kakata, where the police station was ransacked by uh, some disadvantaged youth, and they were about to burn the police station. The ambulance were about to be So let the Liberian people understand. Under this leadership, we understand our mission. We know the context for which we can come in. And when the need arises, we will support the Liberian police like we did for the June 7th. You didn't see us, we were in our bars, but we were monitoring the situation just in case if it escalated. And that is what the caveat is saying. It is not for a specific group, it's for all. So let people understand that we're not going to jump the police to go from. We support peaceful assemb assembly, our rally, that is under the Constitution. And I think uh, the Justice Minister is now engaging the relevant authority for people. And I think people should be allowed to assemble peacefully and be able to voice what they have to say there. But when that assembly turn violent and the police that is there to protect and cannot protect the situation, the, the air force, the forces of like will always be on the standby to support the police in restoring law and order. You said anyone who feels disenchanted to use the rule of law, like the 2017 elections. If they don't want to deviate from that, the armed forces expect it. That is to say, you saw what happened 2017 elections. A uh, group of parties fell disenchanted, they went to the Supreme Court. We just saw it during the time. What we're saying, let's use the rule of law. And we can assure the people. The Liberian people, foreigner and resident in Liberia, that the armed forces will not revert to what happened in 1980. No, that will not happen under this leadership. That is to say we will allow democracy to prevail. And that should be through the ballot pass. Or we use the constitution to go ahead to do what is the law. You said 